Hey guys, welcome again to a new video on the Team Gullet channel. Today, I will tell you everything what you need to know about the 4321. So obviously, first of all, we want to start with the tactics. The defensive style, as usual, it's on balance. The width in defense is on 45. That's because I want my team to be a bit more narrow than natural, but I also don't want them to get too narrow because I want to be able to defend the wings. The depth here is on 67. Me, personally, I like to press, so that's why my depth is quite high. In offense, we play on balance, direct passing, as usual. The width here is on 49. The players in the box is on 5. Both very balanced. When I'm chasing a game, I put players in the box up to 6, 7, or maybe sometimes 8. So that that's something you guys can do as well. Corners and free kicks, as always, on two bars. Then for the instructions, on my goalkeeper I don't put anything. My right back is the one who's on balance and overlap. Especially in this formation, the balance fullback is key and I will tell you later why. My left back is on stable goal attacking and overlap. My middle center mid and my right center mid are both on stable goal attacking and cover center. My left center mid doesn't have any instructions. This means she, in this case because I have Puteas there, will be defending as a left mid. And on my right forward, I have comeback on defense. This will make him, and Mbappe in this case, defend as a right mid. That means this formation will basically be a 4-4-2 in defense. My left forward doesn't have any instructions. That means in defense he will be the left striker. And R9, in this case my striker, is on stay central. This means he will be the right striker when defending. So, as I already explained, the first thing you need to know about especially these tactics, not even the certain formation, but with these tactics, it will defend in a 4-4-2. So it doesn't have anything to do with a 4-3-2-1 when it comes to defending. This makes it more easy to defend, obviously, because 4-4-2 is really structured. You will be able to press, you will be able to drop back if you want, and that's what makes this formation so good. That it is a 4-3-2-1 in attack, but in defense it will still be a 4-4-2 because of the instructions. Then and another thing which is made by the instructions is the balanced fullback. It's the best thing about this formation because as you can see in these clips, I get the overlap with Cancelo every single time. It makes it so hard for my opponent to predict and to defend me because I have a 2v1 situation every time. Sometimes I maybe go down the byline, sometimes I go for the pass inside, sometimes I go for the trifella, for the move myself. There are so many options just because of the balanced fullback. And that's why you should put at least one of your fullbacks balanced when you play 4-3-2-1. Now we've talked about the fullback which we utilize a lot in this formation and is very overpowered. Now something where this formation is perfect for is Tiki Taka. It's probably the best formation attacking wise and that's just because obviously because of that fullback but you also have three midfielders which is probably going to be an overload for example if you play against the 4-2-3-1 or if you play against the 4-4-2. This means quick passing in the midfield will be very easy and because you also have like basically three strikers which are most of the times against four defenders or sometimes when they are really narrow even two center backs it makes it so easy to play quick passes and destroy your opponents so now we've had two things which are very overpowered in this formation in attacking the first one was the balanced fullback the second one was the quick passing and when you combine them as you can see it's crazy you get the overlap you already have an overload on your opponent then you get the pass inside and then you just start the quick passing if you can combine those two things with your skill moves and good finishing it will make you undefendable then we go a step back we go again to the overlapping fullback because of that you will also get an option to cross because your opponent needs to shift to your side that means someone's gonna open at the back post as you can see in these clips the cross is getting very open i think it's once to r9 and once to ginola and that's also just because of the balanced fullback it sounds really nice and so overpowered right now obviously this formation also has a disadvantage as you can see in these next clips when you lose the ball at that side of your overlapping fullback it can be a problem because if your opponent is going on a quick counter attack and knows what to do he can exploit it very easy because he gets a 4v3 situation and then it's just a matter of playing it out well and as you can see in these clips it happens sometimes it doesn't get punished sometimes it does and when it gets punished it's obviously tough to take but that are the risks of this formation Personally, 4-3-2-1 is the best formation in the AFC 24. In all pro tournaments, I always start with a 4-3-2-1. Sometimes I switch when I want to defend more. But for me, especially attacking wise, 4-3-2-1 is the best formation this year. Make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe, comment if you will like and turn on notifications. See you next time.